Hey, what's going on today? We're going to be going over the Deeper Connect Pico on the Binance Smart Chain. This is a DPN, which is a decentralized VPN. It has no annual fees, comes with ad blocking, parental controls. It's going to give you unrestricted access to content from any country. So when we open it up, we're going to see the Deeper Connect Pico, very small, very portable. And this thing is truly plug and play, no configuration required, just the wireless. Um, and it depends on if you're going to use wireless or not. Um, it does come separately. And as you can see with the instructions, it tells you how to set it up. And there is three different modes you can set it up in. There's the virtual wire mode, which is going to go between the modem and the router. Um, as you can see in the picture here. And then you can also do router mode which is just out of your router using the wireless and then there's the wireless relay mode which is what I'm going to do is when you connect it to your laptop it's the most portable way to do it that way you can bring it to coffee shops connect to that Starbucks Wi-Fi and you can still be on your DPN alright so it's going to come with two RJ45 to USB-C cables and that's going to be when you use the virtual wire mode that's going to go between your modem and router or it's going to go from a modem router combo to a uh, laptop or PC and here's your power brick and this is what's gonna power the device and you're not gonna need that brick if you're gonna do the wireless relay mode like I'm gonna do you're just gonna plug it in and it's gonna go from the USB-C into the device to the USB-A to your laptop but this is what it looks like all set up without the wireless but like I said I'm just gonna do the wireless mode so that comes, you're going to have to buy this Wi-Fi adapter separately. comes with instructions, so you're going to have to keep in mind that there is, you're going to have to connect to this um, SSID. It's going to be Deeper Wi-Fi, and it's going to have the default password of I Love Deeper, all lowercase. And then to get to the admin URL, you're going to connect to 168.192.1.1. All right. So this is just a USB type C on the wireless adapter and you plug it right in and there you go. You're all set up. You plug it right into your laptop and now we got power. So what we have to do next is purchase some DPR. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to download MetaMask. If you already have MetaMask, you can skip this step, but basically you're just going to go to MetaMask.io, click download, and once you have that set up, you're going to enable the extension, and we have to get some funds into your MetaMask. So what I do is I usually purchase some BNB from Binance.us, and I will transfer that to my MetaMask wallet. As you can see, there's supported browsers. I'm using Linux right now, but they have it for Mac, they have it for Windows, and they have it for Android and iOS as well. So whatever you're using, there's a solution. That shouldn't be a problem to use MetaMask. All right, so once you have it downloaded and installed, we're going to go ahead and sign into our MetaMask. So just put your password into the browser extension and press Unlock and we're gonna to have to add the smart chain so to get the smart chain you're gonna to go to networks and you're gonna click add network and that's gonna bring up this MetaMask configuration page and you're gonna to have to fill in all this information right here so to get this information you're gonna to have to go you can just do a Google search it's on academy.binance.com and um, they have an article explaining how to um, set up your MetaMask with the smart chain. So if you scroll down on this page, you'll see all the information you need. So you want to add the main net, and right there you can see network name is smart chain. You got to put in that uh, RPC URL, the chain ID, the symbol, and the block explorer URL. And once you have all that information in your MetaMask uh, configuration page, you're going to have the smart chain show up on your MetaMask. So if we go on to coin market cap right now and search DPR you can see that the DPR token is currently just sitting under 10 cents and you're gonna go down to contracts and you're gonna get this uh, BEP20 uh, contract address and you're gonna copy it 
All right, and then you're gonna go to PancakeSwap because that's where you're gonna buy your DPR. And this is only if you wanna stake, um, but you're gonna connect wallet, uh, choose MetaMask. If you're on your phone, you're gonna do Wallet Connect, but if you're on a computer, you can just select MetaMask. And then you're gonna go to Trade and then Exchange. And right now we're gonna use BNB because we already have that in the MetaMask. And then we're gonna select the token that we wanna trade for. And if you search for DPR, it says no results found. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Manage Tokens. And then you're gonna click Tokens. And then you're gonna paste in that contract address that you just copied from CoinMarketCap. And then it comes up, you select Import. And then click I Understand and then import. And there it is, there's DPR. So you're just gonna put in however much you want. I wanna buy a thousand DPR because I just wanna register on the blockchain. And then it's gonna change my slippage tolerance. Um, you could probably use the default. I had mine a little higher from my last transaction. And then it's gonna tell you how much BNB it's gonna take. So just go ahead and hit swap and then confirm swap. And then you have to sign into your MetaMask wallet to unlock it. And just give it a few seconds. All right, so now you have to confirm the transaction. And then we can add DPR to MetaMask by clicking there. And there it is, we got a thousand DPR. We're gonna add a token. And if you wanna view it on the BSE scan, it says it's still indexing, um, but once, the, once it goes through, the status will turn to confirm. Uh, so if we just open MetaMask, we can see that we should have, if we go under assets, yeah, we have our 1,000 DPR, so oh, there it goes. Goes to success as a status, so we're good to go. We got our 1,000 DPR, so we're ready to stake that to the blockchain. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disconnect your Wi-Fi that you're already connected to with your laptop. This is if you're going to do the wireless relay mode. Um, what you want to do is you want to search for that deeper network SSID, so you're going to see a network name that says deeper and it should refresh here in a second all right there it is deeper Wi-Fi so we're gonna select that and we're gonna click connect and it's gonna ask for a password so the default password is I love deeper all lowercase so I love deeper and it should look just like that and then click connect when you're ready and you're not connected to the internet right now, you're just connected to your DPN. So you should be able, you shouldn't be able to get anywhere. As you can see, we're connected to the DPN. So we won't be able to get to any website except for this configuration page. So again, that's going to be 168.192.1.1. And that's going to take you right here. All right, so it says your network is not connected and it's detecting that we're in the wireless relay mode because it's connected to the PC. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. As you can see down here in the lower right, you can change the Wi-Fi password. But to connect to Wi-Fi, we're gonna have to scan under the wireless WAN and you're gonna select the wireless network that you would normally um, connect to which for me is right here. So you're gonna connect and put in the password. So if you're in a coffee shop or something and you have that guest Wi-Fi, you're just gonna have to go to this configuration page and find that um, public Wi-Fi and connect to it. And that way you're gonna be able to browse safely through your DPN. All right, so just give it a few seconds and once it connects, we should have internet access through the DPN. You could also change your broadcast ID, the SSID if you want, um, to make it something more recognizable or something that no one else would recognize. So once it 
connects to the internet, it's going to take you to the Atom OS login page. And right there, you're going to see this um, serial number. You want to copy that, save it for later, because when we register to the blockchain, we're going to need to put that in. All right, so the default username is admin. The password is admin. So go ahead and log into your DPN. And it's a good habit to change that default password as soon as you log in just to be safe. You don't want to keep things as the default passwords because everyone has access to them. All right, so if we scroll down to Wi-Fi, um, this shows us that we're connected under wireless relay mode. It says we're connected to this network and we could scan for a new network if we're in a coffee shop or whatever and we want to connect to uh, the internet. Uh, it also gives you the option to change your Wi-Fi password from I Love Deeper to something more secure. So it's a good idea to do that as well. Um, on the tabs on the left, you can see we don't have the DPR tab because we're not registered to the blockchain yet. Um, if you go to system, this is where you can upgrade your firmware. So right now it's on auto update, but if you want to push it a little faster, you can turn auto update off and then click manual upgrade. This is also where you're going to find the device serial number. You're going to want to copy that and put that in when you register the device uh, so we're going to do that in a little bit but this is where you'll find it under device and system alright so if you go under password under administration this is where you can change the password from admin to whatever you want it to be something more secure so go ahead and do that it, the sooner you do it the better just to get it over and done with make sure it's something you, you don't forget because you don't want to get locked out but once you change it press OK and then it's going to say password changed successfully. All right, that's all we're gonna do right now on here. So you can go ahead and reboot or just log off um, and then we'll come back in a little bit. Right now we're gonna register our device on the blockchain. So we'll go over that in a second. All right, so next you're gonna go to the basic mining registration page and that's device hyphen bsc.deeper.network forward slash login and this is going to register on the Binance Smart Chain uh, network. So it's over about 20. You can choose either mobile or email to sign up, but in the lower left-hand corner, click sign up. I'm gonna do email, so put in your email, then you're just gonna put in this image code, and then click send, and they're gonna send you a verification code. So mine came through pretty quick. Uh, after you press send, um, it gives you a little timer to when you can resend, but I think you have 15, 10 or 15 minutes to actually get the code and put it in. All right, once you get your code, go ahead and put that in. Next thing you're gonna do is create a password. So it says passwords must be alphanumeric, at least eight characters long. So create a strong password and you're gonna put that in twice. Next, you're going to need your BEP20 address, so that's going to be where your DPR are stored, which is MetaMask. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go up to your MetaMask. Once you open that up, uh, right under account, you can click that to copy to the clipboard, and that's your address. Just paste that in, and now you got your BEP20 address in there. Now the, the device login page code. That's the one that we copied earlier. So you get it right there at the Atom OS home screen. You're going to copy that and you're going to put that right there. All right, last thing we need is the serial number. And we know we have to log in to Atom OS in order to get that. So if you haven't copied it already, go ahead and log back in with your updated password that you changed. And under device you're gonna to go to system and the serial number is right there so copy that and then you're just gonna paste that right there in the last field alright once that's all in there click submit and it should just take a few seconds and we are registered successfully so next thing we need to do is login. Now that we registered an account, just go ahead and put in those credentials that you use, the email and the password.
and then click sign in and that should take you to this form where you can stake so the first thing you need to do is create a deeper chain wallet so click confirm and then click create wallet now it's very important that you write down your 12 word passphrase it's uh, they're not going to be able to recover that for you if you lose it and you're going to just lose your wallet and you know access to it and all the funds in it so make sure you do your due diligence and uh, write those down um, after you write them down it's going to ask you to put them back in so uh, just to verify that you you, you did uh, note those words down so you just want to put them in the exact same order that you wrote them in and uh, once you do that you're going to click confirm and then you'll have your wallet all set up alright so that was successful and now we're going to choose a plan uh, so you can see we have our deeper chain wallet in there now so you got your BEP20 and then you got your deeper chain wallet so now you choose plan and this is where you're going to decide how much you want to stake so you can move the little uh, credit select bar and uh, see how much it's going to cost you in DPR to stake that much uh, so you can go anywhere from 6,000 to 101,000 and you can see if you have an 800 credit score you're going to be getting 164.38 DPR daily so if you can do that that's awesome um, on my deeper mini I did the 6,000 DPR but on this one I'm just going to start with the 1,000 so if you just want to do a thousand you can just click this down here only stake 1000 DPR keep in mind you can increase your credit level anytime so if you want to stake more you can always come back in and do that later and since it's on the Binance Smart Chain it's going to be a lot cheaper than going through Ethereum where I would only recommend doing it once because of those gas fees you pay so you're just gonna click next connect to your MetaMask and then connect and it pulls up the amount of DPR in your wallet so it shows a thousand that's all I have so I'm gonna hit stake and it says your wallet needs to be authorized first so you gotta pay twice first time is authorization second time is staking so click OK and this is gonna be so much cheaper than on Ethereum it's gonna be 13 cents so hit confirm that's just giving permission that's the uh, authorization and this will be pretty quick once this is done then we're going to actually do the staking which should also be fairly cheap alright so the transaction was confirmed so now it's going to be 0 .0017 BNB to stake that's going to be the gas fees so that's really not bad uh, click confirm and we should get uh, notification that it was successful here in a second. Um, if you want to check how much that cost, you just go to Quinn Market Cap. We'll put in BNB, and we can go down here to the price chart, and we'll take out this one and put 0 0.00017, and that costs 62 cents a stake. So I think when I did it on the ERC-20, it was uh, around $80, so I'm not complaining. Alright, so right there you can see we have DPR staked 1000. We still have a zero credit score because we don't have the additional 5000 uh, DPR needed. But like I said, anytime you can just go back to this page, choose a plan and uh, you can increase your stake whenever you want if you want to go to that 100 tier and get 2.74 DPR a day uh, go for it you know I'm probably gonna do that soon but just for the sake of this video and since gas fees are so low I have no problem just starting with the thousand alright so now we can go back to Adam OS and we're gonna log in with our credentials and if you slide down the left side you can see we still do not have DPR so what we did not do yet was update the firmware so go ahead and turn off auto update click manual update and now you're gonna let this run so it says it could take a few minutes um, you know it's 
it depends on how far behind you are. So um, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And once you're done, once it upgrades, you're going to go to this consent page when you try to log back into Atom OS. Just click these two little radio buttons and then conf confirm and log in. And once you're in, it'll slide down this left side. And there it is, DPR. All right, so under DPR, you're going to click Wallet. And you go to Wallet Manager. So first thing you want to do is you want to bind your wallet. This is the wallet you just created. This is the deeper chain wallet. So you're going to go to Bind Wallet. And then you're going to put in those 12 words that you just wrote down when you created the wallet. So once you have those in, press OK. All right, and now you can see we have our wallet address up there. So now we can get DPR into our DPN. And you can transfer right here. You can see um, you can put in the recipient public key and the amount of DPR you want to send. All right, so if you go to wallet balance, it tells you how much DPR you have. It looks like I already have 1.99. And I started out with a 10 credit score. Once I get to 100, I'll move up to uh, the first level and I'll start earning uh, daily uh, DPR. Daily shared, shared traffic, you want to do at least 10 megabytes um, per day and that's going to give you every two days you'll get one credit score. And if you go into sharing config, you want your sharing traffic to zero for unlimited. If you want to uh, limit the amount that you're sharing. You can always put in whatever number of gigabytes that you want to share. So you, whether it be 10 or 1 or however many. And then BitTorrent sharing, you can disable that if you don't want to, you know, share BitTorrenting. All right, so that just about does it. Pretty quick and easy. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you liking and hitting that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Be sure to turn on those notifications because I got plenty of content coming out soon. And as always, thanks for watching.